remember what business was like for you before you stepped into what it is that you are doing now? Yeah. When, before I met Wendy, I thought that I could replicate what I did in the NHS out as a freelancer. And as a person who works in the NHS, you're, although you're visible in front of people all the time physically, because you're in clinics, you're doing presentations to nursing staff and other medics, you're still quite hidden within an institution and an organization. And I think the biggest hurdle I faced was becoming visible out in the public arena. Um, I loved hiding, and Wendy will vouch for that. <laughs> I still struggle with that. I, I, at the first opportunity, I'll run and hide. Um, and it was also about something that I've learned now is called imposter syndrome, where I didn't really have my own self-worth. I thought that I needed to do more courses, do more learning, be super qualified in order to be able to ask people for payment for my services. Because in the NHS, clearly I, in my head, I did it all for free. I got a salary, but you know, I was doing it for free. I've never had to ask somebody for a fee. So I don't think I valued myself enough um, I wasn't overwhelmed and my self-value wasn't as good as it is now. And I think that's what I learned from my coaching journey with Wendy is that, and I'm going to say this because so many other women have said it in this summit, is I am enough and it's taken me a long time to get to this point to say I am enough. I am me, I am experienced, I am an expert in my field, and I've developed a signature program which I know works because it's come from here, it's come from within me. Um, so I think where I was at the beginning is very different to where I am now, yeah. Thank you for sharing that. That's really beautiful. It just made me very emotional. I just felt very touched then. I thought, oh God, I hope I'm not going to blob. <laughs> <laughs> so when you step into your signature, as you said, from coming from the inside out, it's a very different feeling, isn't it? It's, as you said, you're confident in what you're selling now because it has come from the inside out. I, like, I just like to explore this because I know, as you said, and it's been the same experience for you when you first started, is that lots of women do lots of qualifications, do another course, do another course, do another course, because they feel they're not good enough. But actually, they really are good enough, really are good enough. And it's that, what were some of the little steps, if you can remember, about becoming more visible and stepping through, and actually stepping through that and breaking through that, that level of resistance? I think, I'll have to think back. I think the little steps were, I think it was, if I go back, it was completely changing my routine. So what I was doing was I was still trying to follow my NHS work routine that I used to have and I had to completely rethink that. Mm -hmm. I learned to visualize who it was that I wanted to be. So if you remember, Wendy, it was the lady with the green scarf. Oh, um, yes, and the earrings. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was a book I'd read in my childhood a long time ago, and my heart, and it just suddenly cropped into my head as Wendy was talking to me. Who is it that you visualise who you want to be, Shantra? And this lady that I visualised was actually who I currently was. You know, I, it, I really wasn't describing somebody out there that I would have to do extra qualifications or change myself to be. I was actually describing 
the person that I actually was if I stepped out of hiding. And it was that belief, it was visualizing for me, I think. Visualizing and the baby steps were to do things in, the, in my daily routine which helped me get closer to that woman that I visualized that I wanted to be. And the baby steps that I had to change, which I've never done before, was the self-care. Yeah, I think if you put your self-care in, it helps you to become stronger, it helps you to believe in yourself more, it helps you to take steps to come out of hiding and yes, be that woman. Absolutely. Thanks yeah. for sharing that. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>